and every Wilson event I go to, everybody's talking about various ways to get more revenue uh, and lower costs to get the margins better. One way is modular housing. Another way is adding on additional units to housing that you have. And one of the companies who's a vendor at our LA Real Estate Investment Club is ModPads, who kind of hits both of those. I had the chance to meet Thomas. He in, today's invited his friend Nick to come as well to talk about ModPads and how we can what lower our costs as well as add more revenue to sites we have. Tom and uh, Nick, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. So tell me about ModPads. I know there are, new, there are different companies in this space. Tell me what your vision is and what you guys are doing. So I'll, I'll go first. So, so my name is Nick Khan. Uh, by profession, I was actually a solutions guy. And uh, me and Tom worked for, I don't know, 10 plus years. And then I took a sabbatical uh, or long, longer uh, you know, <laughs> vacation into real estate business, got into it, and started doing um, anywhere from new construction to rehabs to brokerage to you name it. And then this is where the need basically, uh, you stumble onto things, right? And then I stumbled onto when I was doing the new construction where it, it's a lot of pain to, to, to get the bang for your buck, right? The construction costs, the labor costs, the delays, permits, you, you name it, right? And of course, by no means modular tiny homes compete with the you know 3,000 uh, square foot home in Texas, but it is definitely an added benefit if you can build something very quick or have it built to you and delivered to your space. Could It could be an ADU, a DADU, a pool house, you, an office, a shed, whatever it is, right? And then I discovered a couple of these uh, uh, units and I got intrigued. And then just to kick the tire, I ended up selling a couple of them. And mm -hmm. then people found out. And then I said, okay, well, it does have some um, traction. So I ended up going to the deep end right away. I created a whole company structure. I wanted to do it right. Um, then I got into like, what will a, as a developer, as a construction person, what will a consumer would want for me? So I ended up checking all the boxes for the consumer, right? So I went to the engineering department and said, hey, can you vet my designs and then get engineering stamps? So if the customer wants to get a permit, I can supply those. Uh, I went to the uh, uh, basically a couple, there are a couple of factories that are under our contract, uh, solely devoted to us. I went to them and said, how can we actually improve these, right? So it fits not only US market, but other markets. So we ended up getting UL certifications, CE certifications. Uh, and then we added our flavor of our own, because as you can see, I live in Texas where temperatures get easily 115, right? Uh, Tom, on the other hand, lives in sunny California, right? So, but there's, the, okay, this thumbs up for that, but there's also fire danger, right? So we ended up going to our manufacturer and say, hey, can you add X, Y, Z, and we're gonna call it our proprietary technology. And there's actually patent pending for those. So I applied for those. And our way of developing these uh, modules and cabins and capsules, is trademark okay so now when the customer is coming to us they can rest assured that we have done the work for them mm -hmm. from from the time they order we're gonna hold their hands uh customize to whatever they're liking so it's not a cookie cutter solution mm -hmm. right so they get to own the uh, structure that they're building so that's how it all it started and then i ping tom i say hey tom guess what i'm doing something crazy come on over and well, uh, and then <laughs> You know, I've been living in Burbank for over uh, eight years, and uh, probably six years ago, I started looking at ADUs, and traditional ADU builders are, you know, two hundred thousand dollars. Well, let's I, stop right there. Let me just you make sure I get the definition for people watching. ADU is an additional dwelling unit. So you have a property, maybe a single family home that you could add a second or a third or second and a half property or you have two you can add a third or maybe a fourth so that's what he's talking about go ahead tom i'm sorry totally no it's very exciting it's this ability to add this extra yeah. unit yeah for your existing property and i looked at it and i thought for that much money i could just go buy an investment property probably out of state but i could get another income generating property somewhere else so i'm not really helping with mm -hmm. the housing uh, housing crisis at all so mm -hmm. then i sort of ignored that for a while but when i mentioned out of state I have uh, some investment properties in Florida mm. and I had a property with a garage at the back and the garage was practically destroyed. Uh, I had the footprint and I had concrete. Uh, so I rebuilt that and the amount of time it took and the labor. Uh, and so then a very timely call from Nick 
calls and says, what about these modular homes? Hmm. And I've been looking at tiny homes and online and exploring alternatives and all kinds of other YouTube uh, sites, even uh, keeping track of what Boxable in Vegas is doing. These guys uh, very intriguing. And the ability to sort of add a, an income stream to a rental property uh, was very, very exciting. Sure. And, you know, Bill, there's got to be a trend going on because I've been going to the RIA now for, uh, you know, a year and a half. And the first time I become a vendor, there's two other people. There's right. the tiny home right. guy. Right. And then there's uh, another ADU company. And I think the speaker next month is exactly. a ADU Gold, a very specialist in building. He built some very high end ones. These are we're talking about a much more economical option. Well, so a couple of things there. First, uh, this you know we do know you through the l a r e i c dot com. Anybody's interested, we'll put the link below. Our our meeting is the second Thursday of the month, which is June thirteenth and June, and the speaker there is Seth Phillips, who uh, goes by the branding of uh, ADU Gold, and he's one of those people who I think jumped on this when it was a hot trend, first about five years ago, or maybe a little bit longer. And I think the challenge has been there's has always been more demand and interest than there has been in results. And as a real estate broker, I can say that I've had a number of customers look at them and a few got involved and got upside down really fast or got in deeper. They didn't realize there's foundation issues and some of the other uh, different zoning wasn't as easy as it you know, had to be. And so there, there, was a, there was a gap between the promise of it and the execution. And so, so obviously in, uh, Nick was talking about kind of your uh, a goal to kind of engineer that or or create a system to uh, focus on the execution, not just the concept. Talk about that a little bit. What, what's a customer getting versus what's the process look like versus what's been out there for the last couple of years? Because frankly, the last couple of years has been a lot of promise and very little actual execution. Right. So so it definitely differs from state to state, right? California is a little bit more stricter. Uh, right. But we're, we're really we're really a little bit. <laughs> really, a little, a little bit. only a little more. That's great news. Yeah. I thought hey, like, I'm a solutions guy. Okay, I look positive in everything. I, I try to find <laughs> solutions in everything, and that's why we're, uh, why I'm in it, right? So I'm actually dealing with uh, a few examples in California right now as we speak. Okay. So there, there are customers who are coming to us and they're saying, hey, we live in California. We know what a pain it is to get permits. What can you offer us so we can go to the city and then check the boxes for the city? And that's what it is. Like, you know, the, the minus the timeline that it required to get the permit. I can't control that, but I can control the other factors, right? So you get over the hurdle of submitted submission of your paperwork and designs and things like that. So there's this lady who calls me out of the blue. She lives in San Diego, right? She goes, I am building my forever escape home on a hill in San Diego. She bought this eight acre on the hill property, right? And then uh, she has nothing there. So I'm like, okay, she wants to build an ADU. I'm like, okay, well, ADU means either attached or additional. So if there's nothing there to begin with, it's not gonna be attached or additional. So it's gonna be the first you know, permanent structure. So we ended up designing and providing her the whole engineering specs, structural specs, plumbing specs, to be submitted to the city because they required all of those blueprints to basically allow her to get permit for septic tank because there's 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 no obviously no switch lines going up the hill um, and electricity power okay so that's one example right there uh, another gentleman that uh, now Tom is um, has been introduced to is a UCLA professor he's doing the exact same thing in LA LA area okay so we have his uh, proposal down to a T now. And he's just waiting for some timing issues and whatnot, and he's going to execute on that as well. And we're going to help him along the way of getting permits. Uh, that's that's California story. I was approached by another commercial firm in Connecticut. So this is CBRE, and it's a very well-known real estate brokerage uh, leasing company uh, worldwide, I think. So what they're trying to do in Connecticut, and this is a pilot program, they're trying to replace all of their shacks and um, pergolas and whatnot that does not hold well in the snow that they get. Uh, they're trying to replace all of their pool houses with our advanced cabins. So we right. literally redesigned our cabins and it's, it's gonna be a 40 foot long cabin, uh, advanced cabin. It looks like a, a semi spaceship because we do have a spaceship version. So they're, what they're going to do is they're going to split it down the middle, have men's section in one side, women's section in the other side. And we ended up, again, 
finding out these things uh, as the solution for these things is my job, right? Nice. So we found out that in Connecticut, it's just not the permits. The structure has to be stamped by an engineer. So I went ahead and called the county and said, hey, who are your engineers? We want to get our layout sent. And we ended up hiring this engineering firm, CICNC, and they ended up basically guiding us. Hey, you're going to need this much load factor. You're going to need this much snow factor because it snows quite a bit. So they, they can be 30 pounds per square foot to know that it can withstand. And we said, okay, fine. I went to the factory and said, hey, add another layer on top of the pod so it can withstand more. So see, this is where we are coming. Where You tell us what you need and we're going to provide you. And we ended up getting our uh, structural design stamped by engineering department. Nice. So now we're not just the reseller. We are one-stop shop for whatever you need. You know, we'll find the solution and from order to delivery. We're with you, right? So the design on your website, oops, where are we here? One second. Uh, the design, I think when you say spaceship, uh, when you go to modpads.com, the front page has a design that kind of has a very modern or spaceshipy almost uh, a yes. feel to it. Very, uh, very uh, attractive, very smooth finish lines. But my favorite part, nobody else might be interested in this but me, was the swimming pool with the window on the side. Ah, I yes. love that. Yes. I'm a swimmer. So we do have orders for these as well. And again, this is a fully encapsulated solution. So everything in, is included in the box, so to speak, right? So when we drop these swimming pools in your backyard or, or wherever you need them, uh, it comes with the water filtration system, the pumps, the cleaning system. And if you want it to be heated, we can even supply that. So our, our running saying is just add water. Very yeah. nice. Well, as yes. a swimmer, I, I I have a friend who had a temporary. He bought a. I sold a house in Malibu with a temporary uh, swimming pool that is, you know, must be twenty three years old, kind of falling apart, and really at this point a danger. Uh, this is a nice solution for somebody who uh, wants to put one in. I imagine it's much quicker. The process of putting a pool in. Uh, yes, you can customize it, maybe make it bigger or whatever. But this is beautiful, and I love the window. On the side, yeah, the, the window, window is is also engineered. So we actually put a four inch glass window, so mm -hmm. it's it's not budging anywhere. So you can actually add different size of windows. This is one type. Uh, you can even have it on the other side. So if you have two exposed side to a, your house or lot or whatever, you can have two windows, so it doesn't look too um, claustrophobic, so to speak, right? So you get to see that you can divide them into different versions. So again, it's a whole custom solution. We'll work with you. However, your vision is right. Um, As a swimmer, a swim coach could have a video camera there to watch your stroke. You could put the infinity thing at the one end so you're they're swimming and they could video you and give you tips and watch yes. your stroke from below the water. Just so, uh, again, nobody else is interested in that but me. But I have to say, I, but funny I thing you mentioned, mm -hmm. yeah, funny thing you mentioned, you're a swimmer. So we are we are able to even put swimming jets up front. Yes. So it mimics. So you don't, you're not basically traversing the distance but you're staying right. in put in one position but the jets make it simulate that you're actually right. swimming a distance so we can actually even do that yeah, yeah i've done that it's it's a it's an amazing opportunity for people who want to get training uh, and do it from home well guys i really appreciate the chance to chat with you and catch up i know i had a chance to see tom and you guys had a nice uh uh, layout and spread at the uh, Lyric event uh, last week. Yep. Um, and if somebody want more information, uh, modpads.com, M O D P A D Z.com is the website. We'll put that in the chat box down below. Is that the best way, or Tom or, or Nick, should they reach out to you individually? What's the best yeah, way? So, to all of our contact channels are open. You can call me, you can call Tom. There, there is an email address as well. Uh, you can sign up on our website. It shoots you a full catalog directly to you. So you get to see all the products uh, on one uh, uh, booklet, basically. So, yeah, Fantastic. we're here to help. Fantastic. Well, look forward to seeing you guys yep. uh, again on the second Thursday in June, where the main topic is ADUs. And then you guys obviously are a uh, one of the solutions to that process, as well as for real estate agents or investors looking to add streams of income to property or, or different ways to add property, whether it be a pool house or a pool or additional unit. You guys offer that. So thank you so much, Nick and Thomas. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you. Thanks, Bill. Thank you so much. I okay, appreciate it. Bye.